Greetings gamers, welcome to Pemby's Gaming World. Today's video is about mirrorless action and uh, how it doesn't work sometimes and uh, how the problems I've had recently with it. Obviously you can see there's no problem now, it's actually recording this video. Um, but on the left hand side here, the AMD Catalyst Control Center. Now, um, I'll leave the specs to my PC in the description, but if you go on, um, I have done a video actually on, on the new up driver update for this uh, Catalyst Control Center and um, I'll leave a link in the description to that video so you can watch that, you know, give us a bit more information and uh, there's a, the actual link in that description of uh, some, F, like uh, some information on the changes. I'll show you basically the changes. Uh, hang on, wrong one. You go on this one, my digital flat panels, go on properties. Now, as you can see here, mine's a 42 inch LCD TV I'm using as, a, as my monitor. The maximum reported resolution 1920 by 1080. But you notice this video is recorded at 2560 by uh, 1440p because I've enabled virtual super resolution. Now, I find if I enable GPU upscaling on my computer, it'll only go to 2048. Um, maintain aspect ratio. Uh, basically games are more optimized with this you know with capture cards sorry with the uh, graphics cards that um, this is compatible with you know mine's uh, Sapphire R9280X you know I run a computer and it was called the uh, it's called the Gladiator Hailstorm which is a it's a computer that was reviewed by Jack Frags a few well, last year and uh, I thought, well, I'll, I won't mind a bit of that because the Aria PC who made the thing are based not far from where I live. So I thought, well, you know, if I get ever get any problems, I can just take it in. And that's exactly what I did a few months ago. I did because I did have a few problems. But that's not to slag the, the company off or the PC because it's a damn good PC. It's only got an i5 processor, you know, it's not an i7. And it's not a top of the range, but it when you play and record certain games it they look fantastic and they look even better now because um there's some tracks on on project cars for instance that are running at 25 to 35 frames a second at the most i mean talk about shit that's not what you want to see but now with this enable virtual super resolution and the the fact that it's more well optimized tracks on project cars for instance like the uh the California Highway Circuit and the Azure Circuit. These these are very low frame rate rates. I was you know registering, but now I'm getting 45, 65, and uh, there's this one as well. Actually, let's go to performance, frame rate. Now, if you've got an old version of Catalyst Control Center, frame rate doesn't appear. But my refresh rate on my TV is 60, you know so. I just put that at uh, 60 frames a second, but if you, if you uncheck that, you can move the slide, actually, no, that's right, yeah, so watch me move the slider there, yeah, up to 95 frames per second, let's go back to 60, um, that's another change with it, but one thing, another thing I wanted to mention in this video is this program I'm used to record, now if you've installed the latest 15.7 AMD Catalyst Control Center driver, you find your games, like I've described, are running hell of a lot better. And the, you know, you're getting the frame rates that you want to see, and they, they run better, they're smoother. I mean, GTA 5 is another example. That stuttered like you wouldn't believe. It stuttered worse than I fucking stutter when, I, <laughs> when I'm doing a commentary. You know, it was terrible, it was unplayable, but now it's, it runs pretty smooth. But... Uh, the last point I want to make is about Marils Action actually. One, as you can see, obviously it's running now, but it wouldn't open at all since I installed this new driver. So the way to fix that, if you've got the actual full version, you know, the official version, you've bought it, you've not you know not installed it on a crack, just go on Marils Action's website and download it. Don't, you know, don't delete it from your system. Just download it. Because basically, the, the, it will, when it installs, it just remembers the fact that you bought it. It's a brand new version, a fully up-to-date version. And uh, it should work. It did for me, because whereas before, it wasn't working at all. 
now because it's obviously been updated it works right so if you're having problems getting this program to run since this update with AMD and you, you know you've got a similar situation to mine then just go on the website and re-download it that's all you have to do and that's all I did and as you can see it's working okay I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you found it useful informative and uh, uh, I'm gonna leave you some examples of how um, how good the recording is with um, AMD's own Raptor software you know, I mean, that this hit and miss with that, that one. There's certain games it still won't record. Pro Evolution Soccer 2015 being one of them, um, which is very frustrating, but I've always got mirrorless action to record that. But there's some gameplays I'd prefer to record with, you know, um, Gaming Evolved, Raptor. Uh, and they look really good. So here's a few of them. And uh, these gameplays are after the update. You know, enjoy. Catch you later. Surprise is going to be our only chance. No one's crazy enough to give this a go. Let's do this quietly. They've got QRF teams on standby. Easy with the right foot, let's nail this. 